welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Frances and it is about six in the morning. I'm taking my dog out to pee before I leave and go to the bins. So I'm going to the bins this morning and when I get back I will show you a haul and I will take you thrifting with me. Yeah, I do the bins, I'll tell you feel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francis. And I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And you can find me on Instagram uh, under a new username, actually. I changed my username to frantastic underscore finds. Um, play on words on my name, Francis. <laughs> so today I have a two-part bins Goodwill Outlet haul video. Um, today I have part one. And... Um, I went to my local Goodwill Outlet bins location, which is a pay-by-the-pound Goodwill. Um, my location is $1.79 per pound, and yeah, I have some really exciting things to show you. And this part, it'll be just clothing, and then part two will be clothing and shoes. So, yeah. Um, I just So I came across a bin in like the first 10 minutes I was there of all Madewell jeans and sweaters but I was confused because all the jeans were like different sizes so I'm going to show you those first the first pair so these are made well 10 inch high rise skinny crop and these are in a size 31 which is great so they're all good sizes and it is a exposed button fly excellent condition and they have a raw hem so yeah that was a really good find and next to it so I just obviously stayed at that bin because I knew that <laughs> I'd probably find some more made well and I did um, next pair are you know, just like this um, these are the Cali dummy boot which is a, a great style and this is a size 29 And they also, so they're the boot cut, and they have a raw hem. These ones are really good. I think that I could get about, oh, look at that. Cool detail. Um, I could get 40 for probably all the Madewell jeans I'm showing you. Maybe more. Um, so those are good. Okay. These are, obviously, next is Madewell. So I think I found four pairs of jeans, and then I found a skirt, and then a bunch of other Madewell like sweaters and stuff I will show you. So these are obviously Madewell. These are the perfect vintage jean in a size 32. So these ones are a little bit more worn. I think they have some fading, but they have a raw hem. So I might be able to get 35 for these since they are worn in a little bit, but the size and the style, I think it can sell these. And so. Oh, these are my favorite. These are so, so, so cute. I've actually never seen this from Madewell. So these are the jeans. And they have like this really cool. Um, it's kind of, it's stitched actually. I thought they were like little um, studs, but they're actually stitched. And they're this jean. It's really cute. These are called the Cali Demi boot, so that is the style. And these are a size 29 tall, so that's really good. Um, that is actually the tall ones actually do better, so I think I could get 45 to 50 for these. Um, I personally have to wear tall jeans, and I appreciate when brands make tall like versions. It's, it just does really well. Sorry, one second. My dog is chewing my purse. So next. This is fun. So I found this skirt. This is called the Rigid Denim A-Line. 
and says 32. It's this like pink, um, really cute skirt. And then it's new tags. I didn't even know until, um, it's really cute. I think I can get about 25 to 30 for that. The skirts just don't do as well, but of course I'll still pick it up. Okay, next is, oh, sorry. <laughs> next is this Madewell size 2XL, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I've actually never found Madewell that's like above an XL. So that's really exciting. It does need a sweater shave. But this is a wool blend, so you can see there's pills, so it needs to be sh sweater shaved. And it has like this balloon sleeve. There's a dog hair. Ah. Um, so cute. I think I could get 40 for that because of the size. And yeah. Also, it's really cold out here. So if I'm like shivering at all, that's why. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. There's Madewell like in here, so I will just show you things off the top and then and my dog is right here if you can see her little nose ah anyways um so I don't know where the maid well is but I'm just gonna keep going so this is cabby this is just a tank top but um cabby stuff does really well like it sells really fast for some reason just has a following I guess and I really like the back so this is a size um small I think I can get 15 for that okay this is older label j crew and i will pick up j crew sweaters no matter the label if they are um, like a wool or alpaca or cashmere type thing this is a size medium and it looks like this it's like an oatmeal kind of speckled thing but the back the the um what is that called patches look in really good condition so I was really um, excited to find that okay what should I show next okay this is a bra which I love picking up bras some do better than others of course but this is a third loved bra which is actually a really good brand to look out for and it's in really good condition. <clears throat> this is a size 46C also. So that's a good size and this is a perfect coverage bra. So that was good. Okay, this, what is this? Oh, it's like velvet. Oh, you know what? I was actually gonna look this up and then I never did. <laughs> so, okay, it looks like this. It's like velvet. It's actually really pretty. I think this is a skirt. And the brand is Kathleen Argino Atelier. I'm not totally sure. It's definitely vintage, size 8. And I never looked it up. It's really pretty. So we'll see. Comments on that. I'm not sure. Um, I should have looked that up, but I didn't. And all right. Next is another J. Crew item. This is a size extra small. This is a cotton wool nylon blend cardigan sweater, which these do super well. I think I sold one today, or maybe that was last night. I don't remember. <laughs> um, button front cardigan does super super good. So that one's nice. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to move some stuff around. Okay, this is free people. I think this might be an older tag. This is a size medium. Um, and it's just really cute. Okay, it is this mesh. There's like mesh on the top. It's like a, <clears throat> like a sweatshirt. I think this might be an older style, but it's still free people and it has the oversized look. So I thought that was worth it. So, all right, next. Uh, Alright, next are these little denim shorts, and the reason I got these is because spring is the next season, so, um, they look like this, and they are Lee, 
and they're vintage and they're super cute with like a cutoff style. I really liked the, um, the ends, they look really good. <laughs> and I think I can get 25 for these. They're size 12, which they're definitely a little bit smaller because they're vintage. So yeah, I'll just have to measure. All right, this is called um, Pure Collection. I don't know what this brand is. It might just be sold like TJ Maxx, but it is 100% cashmere. And this is a US 4, which is the reason I got it, is because it's cashmere. It's this really cute mock neck sweater. And yeah, I get 100% cashmere items no matter the brand, just because cashmere is expensive. Okay. Next, this is Torrid size 2. And it's like this floral lightweight bomber jacket <clears throat> yeah and it zips in the front I thought this was really cute yeah, let me let me zip this up yeah it's super cute so I had to grab that all right all right next is this <laughs> Sorry, things are falling um, next is this really cool, like, windbreaker, and oh my gosh, you guys, this has become one of my favorite brands to resell. It's called Oysel. Um, and I found actually <clears throat> quite a few pieces of this brand today, or yesterday when I went. And this is like a lightweight running jacket. Um, this brand sells so, so fast and actually has a good following like a pretty large following on Poshmark, eBay, any reselling platform. So I love to find that brand and a lot of people don't know about it. So I actually saw this girl pick up a tank top by that brand that I got. you'll see later. And she was like looking for the Lululemon tag you could tell and then she just threw it off. So I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay. Next is this free people size extra small, um, beautiful dress. It's like a midi length and it's actually really cute. And yeah, I feel like this might be an older style, but I don't mind. I'll pick it up anyways. And I have my coffee. Just need to sip it out. All right. <clears throat> Next is Victoria's Secret. Little, um, like cami kind of lingerie top. This is really cute. Um, people wear these as like tops. I think I've mentioned that before. They'll wear these as tops. So I recommend picking them up, especially at the bins, super lightweight. Love to find. Okay, this is HD in Paris, which I think most of the time this is sold at Anthropology. This is a US 4. And yeah, it's just a little tank top, nothing much to it, and it has a cute print. All right, next is another Oysel, which is that brand I was just talking about. This is a tank top, and this is like a running top, so it's super lightweight. I probably paid like less than a quarter for it, and I can get probably 18 to 25 for it sells faster than Lululemon for me. So, of course, I will pick it up. Okay, these are, <clears throat> thought these were gonna be Spanx, but they're not. Still exciting. I like finding airy leggings, especially the high-waisted. These are size small. And they look like this. The reason I thought they were Spanx is because they have that like painted, like metallic-y look to them. And I'm still excited and willing to pick that up. So, yeah, this is Oysel again. You guys, I told you I found a couple of these. This is a size 8, and it has, like, this is definitely a workout top, but it has, like, a cute, like, button detail. So, yeah. Next, this woman at the outlet, I don't know her at all, but she, um, she was next to me searching through the bins and she 
handed me these sweaters. So they're both the exact same. They're J. Crew. They're like a newer style. They're kind of heavy, but they have like a wide sleeve. I thought these were so cute. This is the other one. So they are the exact same, but they're in different colors. Let me look to see what year these are from. This is from fall 2021. So these are actually super new. So that is a good thing to look out for is like the, um, <clears throat> in the style tag, it says like um, the year that they were produced. So I'm really glad and I'm really thankful that she gave these to me. That was really nice of her. I don't think she was a reseller. I think she was just noticing that I was picking up like the J. Crew Madewell stuff out of the bins and then she gave these to me. So that was really nice of her. Next is another HD in Paris. This is a size eight, I think. Yeah, eight. Um, this is a dress. So it does button in the front, which obviously is really hard for me to show. Um, and this is linen. So yeah, it is 100% linen, so that is great. Next is this pair of Levi's, and they're super distressed. And they have like holes, and they have like this. I just thought these were really cute. I know that some Levi's do better than others, but some like the distressed stuff with the button fly actually can do really well. So I decided to pick these up. <laughs> what was my dog doing in there? This is just the brand Blink NYC, size 28. Um, I picked this up because it is a really cute little skirt. And I can't remember, it, yeah. So this is 100% leather, so it really is real leather. So I thought that, that was a good selling point. So I decided to pick it up and 28 is a decent size. So yeah, I like that great for spring and yeah all right this is Peruvian link which um it's actually a pretty decent brand it is like has mainly alpaca items I don't know how this goes I think it's like a shawl but it kind of looks like this I don't know but it is 100% alpaca which is great alpaca collection so this, I think I can get like 44, so. All right, this is a brand that I always will pick up at the right price. This is And Other Stories. This is a size two. Super cute little blouse, like a cap sleeve and a zipper back. Again, super lightweight, and this brand is really good. It's very decent. It's like a higher version of, um, or the higher end line of H&M. So, yeah. Hard to find. All right. This is Nordstrom, and it is new tags, and it says Nordstrom, but I can't seem... Oh, the brand is and Ann Summers, which I've actually never heard of, but it's like this bodysuit with like a chain front, which is cute. And it's new with tags and it's from Nordstrom, so I decided to pick it up. And I will have to look up comps on that, but yeah, it's really lightweight as well. Okay. Next is a pair of Judy Blue jeans. Um, and I have mentioned before that these don't do well for me, but I actually just sold a pair yesterday. So, uh, these are a relaxed fit in really good condition. Yeah, this brand actually seems to be, I mean, it gets a lot of attention. I just have only sold one out of three pairs. All right, next is this J. Crew number two pencil skirt, size six petite. 
Um, and this is a wool blend. The reason I got this is because this style is actually pretty popular. The number two pencil. So, yeah, it's easy to photograph and list. Alright. Next is this Madewell size XL top. It's like a blouse. Oh, it's so cute and it's like off the shoulder. I've never seen this from Madewell before. This is 100% silk and in a size XL, so really good little things going for it. Again, this was in um, the bin with the other Madewell things. All right. This is Vince, size large. Um, it's this, it's like a boat neck, like perforated sweater. And somebody threw this back and I was like, well, okay. Definitely has a hole or something. And then I looked and I can't find anything wrong with it. So it is 70% wool and 30% cashmere. So it's really good blend of uh, materials. All right. How many, oh, this is 20 minutes long. I'm trying to think if I should keep going. Yeah, maybe I will show a couple more items. Okay, this is Levi's, and these are new with tags. This is the 720 High Rise Super Skinny. I wouldn't pick these up if they weren't new with tags, but there's like a khaki pant new with tag, but they're really lightweight, so that's why I picked them up. All right. This is a Ron Sweater Market, 100% pure new wool. Um, I did actually, I did look this up and it actually has pretty good comps, but I was going to buy it regardless of the comps because of the style and the 100% wool. It's a poncho. It's so cute with like the different knits, like cable knit. I don't know. I don't knit so <laughs> um and it has like a button neck all right next is all saints these are men's they're called the rex and they are a size 34 and they have a button fly sorry my allergies are really bad and yeah they're just a classic black jean all saints is a great brand i love picking up all saints I don't find it super often, but when I do, I will pick it up if it's in good condition. And these are men's, so I think I can get a good amount for these. I'm not totally sure what, but yeah. All right. Next is another J. Crew item. This, this is 100% wool, and it's a striped crew neck. It is really cute, and I loved the stripes on that. All right, I'm gonna show one more item and then I do have something I have to add to this video, um, which I will mention in a second. This is BDG by Urban Outfitters and this is like a little skirt. Yeah. All right, so in the next clip, I am going to talk about a listing challenge that um, I am a part of for this month of February. And yeah, and I will also see you guys in the next part of this video. It should be up. This is going up on Wednesday, so this the next one should go up on Friday. And yeah, you will see shoes, you'll see the rest of the clothes. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it. She always does this in the outro. I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a like and subscribed on your way out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! I am joining Kelly from Kelly Schaffner here on YouTube um, with her February listing challenge. I have a couple notes here. Um, so I messaged her a couple days ago um, about a YouTube collab and she kindly let me join in on her challenge, which I really, really appreciate. So thank you so much, Kelly. Um, I'm really excited about this challenge because I also need to list and I think it'll be great to have some sort of motivation from another reseller and... Um, so in the month of February, um, I have the listing goal of 100 new items each week. 
Um, as of today, February 1st, I have 8,667 total listings um, with 1,354 active. Um, so the total listings will, the total, so 8,667 listings will keep going up as I list, but the active listings will fluctuate as items sell. Um, my goal is to finish the month with 9,067 fresh new listings um, each week of February. So there will be four videos, including this one. I will update you as I progress in this challenge um, and show my thrift adventures as well. So I will be also posting some bins hauls, thrifting videos. Um, maybe I'll throw in a what sold. Um, in this video, I am going to show you a couple items that I listed this morning that already sold. Um, and that I just kind of wanted to show um, because it can be hard sometimes being like, like motivating yourself to list. But when you see the, the fruits of your labor, um, it can motivate you. So I noticed this morning when I listed some items... When I list in bulk, I tend to um, price my items to sell. Just, I don't know. It's just a thing I do. <laughs> Unless I'm super excited about a certain item. Um, but in this case that happened, um, I listed, I think, 15 items so far. And three have sold out of those exact items that I listed. Um, Alright, so I'm going to pull. So this sold. It's a Crimson Clover size large um, patterned um, dress and these typically do really really well if they're the 100% wool pieces this is just polyester and I think like viscose so it sold for 28 really fast same day as I listed it all right next item was this super cute um it says no problema this is a mod cloth um, pullover long sleeve shirt. This sold for, I believe, 22 something like that. It might be less, it might be more. I'll put it on the screen. Sold same day. All right, and the last piece I'm gonna show is this North Face um, Flight Series base layer long sleeve. This sold for 18. Um, I listed it today for 24. And I got an offer of 18 and I accepted it. All right, so I put stinky stickers on. So another thing that I've implemented to make sure I stay on track with my 20 listings a day is I, I purchased a planner on Amazon. And um, what I do is um, I will write the word 20 or the numbers 20 on each day of February. And um, I'm just going to cross off the 20 once I have it done each day. So when I look at my planner, it reminds me, oh yeah, I need to finish that um, for the day. And um, I can cross it off and I'll feel accomplished for the day. And I think that was something that I really needed. I needed a visual representation of... Um, what I need to get done. So that was definitely something I needed to implement and I'm really glad I did. Um, yeah, so I would love if you guys wanted to join this challenge. Of course, this was Kelly's idea. I have to give her credit. So please, please, please go subscribe to her channel. She has really great reselling content. Um, she posts a lot of haul videos, what sold videos, um, listing challenge like this one. Um, I'm not sure if she has other challenges like this, but I'm sure she does or she will in the future. Please go subscribe to her channel and subscribe to mine. Um, click the subscribe button down below if you like this kind of content um, and comment down below if you're going to join in on this. Um, I did want to mention one thing that I am going to do is give myself a goal of 400 new 400 listings this whole month and um, I wanted to give myself some grace by uh, making the goal of um, like 100 listings a week and that can mean that one day I list like 40 new things and the next day I list zero because I have a lot going on <laughs> this this month and I know that some days I'm not going to get 20 up and some days I might get 30 up so I'm just going to give myself the weekly goal and it'll average out to about 20 a day. So, yeah, that's, um, 
well Um, and the other thing is I'm not going to make myself list every single day of the week. I'll give myself about like five days <laughs> and as I said, it'll, it'll equal out, but 20 is like a goal. So of course that doesn't equal 400, um, if you do the math, uh, but it's just like a kind of general goal, um, to get a hundred up a week. Cause that sounds good to me. <laughs> so yeah, that is the challenge and I just wanted to come on here and, um, talk about this and have um, invite all of you guys to join me on this listing challenge um, comment down below what your goal is or if you're not going to do it um, comment down below um, comment down below a different reselling goal you have for this month um, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in my next video which will be a bins haul bye guys